Monitoring the big news out of New York City, the Buffalo Bills have new owners this morning. The Pagulas have officially been voted to take control of the team. They had unanimous support from the other NFL owners. Steve VC from our News 4 Sports Department, or Department is live in New York City. We are going to be checking in with him as well as the news team later in today's show. But that is really not all the excitement at One Bills Drive today. We are uh, also talking about their big event coming up on Friday night. That that is their big Believe event. Every year, the Buffalo Bills, their families, the players, also just people from the community who support breast cancer uh, survivors here in Western New York gather for a very special evening uh, at Niagara Falls. They create a living pink ribbon to show their support for cancer survivors everywhere. And here in studio today, we're so excited to be joined by, uh, we have Tom Quattrochi from ECMC, also Danielle yeah. Jackson, the lovely wife of Bills captain and running back Fred Jackson. Thank you both for being here today. It's a special Thank you for day having us. Guys here. Thank you for having of us. Of course, we're all decked out in our pink today. We're going to talk about Pinktober, talk about Believe in just a couple minutes. But, Danielle, we're, we all just stood here in the studio and watched as the news came down from New York City. As the wife of one of the longest tenure bills, what do you think about the new We're uh, excited. We're very excited. We're good friends with um, Pat Coletta and his fiance Ashley. And um, they were over last week just telling us more about Mr. and Mrs. Pagula and have nothing but wonderful things to say about them. So we're definitely excited. And you guys have been really part of the Bills team for so long. Is ownership something that you as a wife talk to you with your husband about? Or what is it like uh, to, to, to talk about these types of things? Um, we're just excited with the direction that they want to take the team. And I mean, just in general, there's a lot of excitement within the team this year. So I think it's going to be a great year. I think it is, too. Of course, we're coming off a big win in Detroit <laughs> last week. This is going to be a big weekend. Kicking things off on Friday night, Tom, with a big Living Ribbon event in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Week. What is ECMC's involvement in all of this? Well, ECMC is very proud to be part of this event. It's it's uh, really to celebrate survivorship and to ce celebrate life. And we have a 45-foot mammography coach uh, that has two mammography machines on it and travels throughout the community, uh, saving lives, goes into the inner city and serves what we say the never served folks that would women that would never get um, you know a mammography. So it's a it's a really great event for us to to promote those services uh, and and support those services for the for the inner city. Uh, and also the rural communities, I should mention. Uh, but it's also just a, a night to celebrate survivorship, give people hope. Uh, when you go on the bridge, it's a beautiful sight. Um, you have a living ribbon. Uh, Daniel's been there many, many times. Uh, and it's it's really a moving event. And um, it, again, there's, fo there's women there that have cancer. There's women there that have survived cancer. So it's a very emotional moment uh, as, they, as they span the bridge with the pink ribbon and then they light the falls. I always love to see the video of the event happen every year. About how many people does it take to, to light that living ribbon? Um, I, there's hundreds of people. I don't know yeah. what the exact <laughs> amount is, but uh, uh, it's a you know it's an event where people can come out. It's very affordable. It's thirty dollars a person, uh, and folks can go to the website to uh, Bills website to sign up for that. And then the spasmatics play afterwards. Bills players come. Bills uh, well, the whole families come uh, from the Bills. Yeah. This is so. a really a big family night for a lot of the players, isn't it? Danielle? It is. There's so much energy. We see a lot of the same um, a lot of the survivors year after year. So it's fun to see them and just the energy and everything is unmatched. Um, the, after the the living ribbon, there is a free concert after. So there's just, I mean, the music's playing and there's a ton of energy. So it's it's a lot of fun. And kid friendly too, right? I know your oh, four yeah. children are <laughs> favorite of a lot of Bills fans who like to follow you and your husband um, on social media. Yep. Will they be there in their pink? Oh yeah, they'll be Do there they in their, their pink. outfits ready. Not yet, but I'm sure they'll tell me what they want to wear. All so right. they like October and getting to wear the pink dresses. So. And it's it's probably special during the season to just get to spend a Friday night as a family. Isn't yes. It? Yep. Yep. It's a lot of fun. I remember last year. I our two girls were dancing like crazy at the Hard Rock, and it was a lot of fun. All right, and then, of course, we have the big uh, Patriots game on Sunday. Of course, we're looking forward to that as well. There also we're going to win. We're, we're going to win that, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> there probably there's going to be a lot of pink on the field that day, too. It's a special time to be a Bills fan, an NFL fan, isn't it? Yeah, sure it's, is. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, the game's a wonderful uh, wonderful experience. Also, we have survivors that come on the field and receive a jersey mm -hmm. from players, uh, which is very, very emotional. So it's really a, a, a special event, too. And everybody will be in pink, and we'll be handing out uh, some yaoi's they're called uh, to <laughs> folks. We did
did that last year and people loved them. What's a uh, yaoi? It's like a, it's a scarf, it's a hat, it's, it's whatever multi. people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. An so. accessory. Yeah, yeah, my son has his from last year, so he's been wearing it around the house already. Real men so. wear pink, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a towel, whatever you yep, want. Yep, whatever you want with it. <laughs> All right, sounds good to me. Yaois will be there Friday night. It's the Pinktober, the Believe event. It's all happening in downtown Niagara Falls. You can go to buffalobills.com slash believe for much more information about that. Danielle Jackson and Tom Quattrochi, thank you so much for being here this morning. We really appreciate uh, you supporting the cause and just being here to kick off the show. Thanks for having us. Thank right. you.